and welcome to our model radio fort. We're going to have a walk around it and then we're going to actually transmit. So let's power this baby up. First of all, let's show you where the actual power for the unit's coming from. On the real thing, it would be provided by a diesel generator. Obviously, we can't have that, so uh, we're supplying the 12 volts for all the lighting, uh, the transmitter, cabin, cooling fan, and all ancillary equipment from uh, this 12 volt power supply. And the transmitter itself is being powered by the beast. That's this power supply here, which is variable voltage. We've got it set at 12 volts. Um, this is all going up the line to the power distribution rack. And we're very safety conscious here on this port. Taking you along from the power rack, we've got the deck crane. And it's got its own little light on it as well. Now the deck crane actually works. And at the moment, there's a bracket hanging from it which has been there for a while because we have forgotten what it was for. <laughs> so it's still hanging there. From the deck crane, we'll go around the side of the studio and offices. Past uh, junk corner, where things kind of get uh, stored or hoarded and uh, round to the front door of the studio. And next to that we've got the diesel fuel tank for the generator which the real thing would have. And round this end of the fort is the business end with the transmitter cabin. And a little floodlight there to light things up. On top of the transmitter cabin, we've got the exhaust for the generator, and then we've got the mast, and then we've got the feed for the antenna. And we've also got the TV aerial. Yeah. So we follow the feed up the mast, about halfway up we've got a satellite dish there which uh, got a little bit bashed on the installation so waiting for a new one and then right at the top of the mast we have the aircraft warning light. Let's go inside the transmitter cabin and see what lies within. Now then, on the real thing, there would be a generator in here. 
But remember, this is only a model. So what we've got in here is a little low power FM transmitter and an MP3 player to provide the music output for the transmitter, for the station output. So now we're going to actually fire it up and uh, see how far we can get inside the house. We've got a nice little radio here that we're going to use for this test. So we'll just put this down here just now. And we'll switch it on because it should be set to 107 megahertz. And uh, I wonder if we can put a light on so we can see that. I can't remember how you set the light on this. I'll come back to that. Oh yes, there it is. 107. Now, this may take a bit of uh, fiddling around to get this going, but what we'll do is we'll fire up the MP3 player. And that, in turn, should fire up the transmitter. If we give it a little bit more output. Yeah. There we go. And start it going. Well, our transmitter is now showing 107 megahertz. We're getting the test tones coming through the radio on 107. Let's give it a little bit more volume. So that is actually coming out of our transmitter into the radio, which of course is right beside the mast. So there's no problem there. Now let's go walk about. Okay, we're going to go walk about now. And uh, this should actually reach right through the house. Let's take a look in the studio. Got a nice clear signal. It's our studio equipment all covered over. Yes, nice clean signal here. Let's uh, try in here. We'll put a light on. Yep, it's still getting a nice, uh, reasonably nice clean signal. And we'll try the furthest extremity which would be in this room here. Yep, nice clean signal. Now that's us quite a distance away from the transmitter. So we're back through beside it again, but uh, going to try something else now. We're going to go to the other end of the house and uh, we're going to go outside. And I'm quite sure our signal will be reaching outside as well. Animal, the engineers just changed the tone there. So we're on a higher tone. So off we go through here. We're now in the conservatory and uh, going to open this door and go outside. A 
while we're now outside and we've still got a good signal. Let's take a little walk along here. Very good signal. Yep, that is a good signal. So, uh, still on 107. It's 9 o'clock at night and it's uh, pitch dark. So there you go, that's our little walkabout and our test. Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs>